Hey guys, it's Donna Brown here from 100 KVA. Hope you're doing well. I'm sitting at my desk here and I've been watching this debate happen in a virtual assistant Facebook group about the struggle that a lot of you are still having around packaging your services up. Now, if you've been following me for any time, you know that I've been preaching about packaging and services for a long time now because it makes your business far more commercially savvy, make more money, work less hours, the whole shebang. You know I'm all about that. Um, but people still seem to be struggling. Now, I've recorded a lot of videos about packaging your services up, and I'll include a list below. You know, things from what kind of questions to ask a potential client when you want to design a package for them, um, why you're struggling packaging your services, uh, packages versus retainers. So, there's, you know, how do I convert my existing offering into a package? Lots of different topics. But today I want to talk about something really simple, really simple that I think might help a lot of you out. And that is the, the best and worst services when it comes to packaging. Hopefully this will shine a light on you and help you get over your struggle around packaging. Um, so let's start with the worst kind of packages or worst kind of services you can package, sorry. So one of the key elements to packaging your services up is the fact that it needs to be repetitive work. So something that you need to do on a recurring repetitive basis that has clear parameters. Um, so something that happens every week or every month, for example, um, enables you to group tasks together and have a set fee. And if you're struggling on understanding what it actually is a package, if you're brand new to the industry, make sure you go ahead and watch, and I'll put a link up above, uh, packages versus retainers, because I think that's a really important video to watch first. But, um, in order for packaging to work, it needs to be a consistent recurring service. So the worst things that, you know, that most virtual assistants try and package that it doesn't work is one, ad hoc. So if you do a lot of ad hoc work, like a lot of five minute jobs, general administration, things like that, where people are just sending you lots of tiny little tasks, you cannot package that up because there is no consistency and there's no recurring nature of that work. So does that mean you can't offer that as a service? No, of course you can do that. If you enjoy it and you make a lot of money from it and it's pleasurable and that your clients love doing that with you, whatever works in your business, that's fine. It's just not a packageable service on its own. If you want to know how you can package it up, let me know. Um, there is a kind of a loophole that you can get around, but, but contact me and I'll show you how it works. But if that's the only kind of work you do, it's really impossible to package. So general admin, you can't package. Number two, you really can't package transcription. Now, for the most part, people that specialize in transcription simply transcribe a docu you know, an audio file and send the document over, and that's it. Uh, unless the transcription is combined with lots of other tasks, like a bigger, you know, a bigger procedure, possibly you might be able to to package it up. Like if the transcription is one element of a bigger reoccurring procedure, for example, you might transcribe a video for a client once a week. You know, so that the recurring nature of that is there. The transcription is just one element of it. That's packageable. But if it's stock standard transcription alone, like medical transcription, for example, where the client, where literally it's just a revolving door of MP3 files coming in and you transcribing them and a Word document's going out, if that's all you do, you can't uh, package it up. Simply because it's not a reoccurring, consistent service that has um, the capacity for people to offer or charge more than the standard transcription rates that are out there in the industry. The transcription industry is, is like a micro industry within the VA industry and everybody is already used to paying per audio minute. That's the standard. That's the rule. No one would pay $500 a month, for example, for a certain number of transcription files. You know, it's it just doesn't work. Um, so I always say to virtual assistants, if that's the only service offering that you do, you're really going to struggle packaging your services. Is it impossible? No, I guess you could add other services to your business and try and create some kind of recurring uh, task, like I'd mentioned earlier, but it's very, very difficult and something that I don't necessarily encourage. And the final service that you can't uh, package up is project work. So if you are a website designer and you create websites, once it's done, it's done. Like you create a website, it's finished. You know, clients don't need a website every month, hopefully. <laughs> so if you are really on um, project work where you're just doing one big thing, 
for a client, that's not necessarily packageable. Are there things that you can package that are associated with a website? Yes, of course. So things like recurring um, backups and stuff like that. So anything that's recurring in nature, you can do. But the actual website design component is not packageable, as an example. So they're the ones that you want to avoid if you're trying to create packages. Are they services you want to avoid if that's what you're currently offering? No. If you love them and they bring you money and you enjoy them, good. If you only want to concentrate on packageable services, then they're not the ones for you. What is packageable? Remember I told you it's consistent reoccurring services or tasks or things that need to happen in a client's business. So it would depend on the client's business. However, things like social media is the big obvious one. People need to recur and consistently post on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on YouTube, um, you know, on Twitter, <laughs> on Pinterest, on Instagram, anything that needs to happen all the time on a recurring basis, perfect for packaging. Another great one is obviously communications, so newsletters, because we need to communicate with our clients on a very recurring, regular basis, so newsletters are packageable. Blogging and vlogging, so if they do videos or text blogs, that is definitely reoccur you know, recurring work that needs to happen and consistently in their business, so yep, we can package that one up. Anyone that runs a regular event, like a networking event or a regular uh, webinar or a regular... Um, uh, workshop or anything like that, if it happens on a recurring basis, say monthly, yep, totally packageable. Um, I'm just trying to think what else. If a client has a membership and they need to give out to their members um, a regular once a month or bi-weekly or weekly resource like a cheat sheet or a template or a document or a workbook or something like that, yep, totally packageable. Even reception support can be packageable. So if you are a phone answering service and you're answering clients' phones, you totally can package their service because they need it week in, week out. So has this been helpful? Remember, the most important thing is reoccurring consistent tasks that need to occur in a client's business is what's packageable. Things that happen ad hoc, once off, uh, with no defined parameters or transcription, which is a very unique sub-niche, really difficult to almost impossible to package up. So I hope this has really shined the light on there for you because I know a lot of you are struggling and if you are struggling and you want me to help, you you know, I, I'm happy to design a package for you based on your current service offering. So if that's something that interests you, click on, you know, I'll pop a little link up above here now or I'll put it down below and uh, register yourself for a session where I'll actually design a custom package for you in your business. I'd be happy to do it and show you how it works. But remember the key points, it needs to be consistent, reoccurring, clearly defined parameters, you know, uh, service offering task in order to be packageable. That's the most important thing. Are there other things you need to consider? Absolutely. And, um, you know, I'm happy to share them with you if you want, if you have the questions, but really it comes down to that. That is the most important thing to consider that a lot of people forget. So if you like this video and if you like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've got any specific questions, um, around packaging, you know, leave me a comment below so I can create some more videos for you. And, um, I hope you have a glorious day. Bye.